Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Luke and I do perfume reviews. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Give this video a like and leave me a comment down below if you wish to. Today I've got another perfume review for you. I'll be reviewing Chanel Allure or Allure or Allure, whatever you want to call it, the Eau de Parfum. This one is not the original version. That one came out in 1996 and it's an EDT. Allure EDP came out in 1999 and the perfumer behind it was Jacques Porge. He was an in-house perfumer for Chanel and these days his son is the new in-house perfumer. So he retired and his son took over basically. So Allure Eau de Parfum is considered or classified as an amber vanilla fragrance, but I would say it's more of a floral than amber vanilla, but we'll get to that in a minute. This fragrance was recommended to me by at least two or three subscribers and I've always known about it. I've been trying it for years. I've been testing it at the Chanel counter and I never decided to get it for some reason. I regret that because it's a beautiful fragrance and I wish I got it sooner because it's absolutely stunning. Chanel describes it as clean, sheer and warm, a floral, fresh and amber fragrance. And I agree, it's all of those things and more. It's warm and ambery, but also quite light, soft and floral at the same time. It's not a heavy fragrance, but it's not weak either. It's a soft spoken scent. It doesn't shout, it whispers, but it's still strong. It's soft, but strong, if that makes any sense. Let me tell you something. This is a 90s fragrance through and through. It's an elegant and complex powdery floral with peach, vanilla and citruses in the top. It opens with sparkling citruses and a 90s style floral bouquet with a bunch of different florals. If you've smelled fragrances like Givenchy Organza, Amarige, Longcombe Poème or Longcombe Trésor, you know what I'm talking about. All these fragrances are huge bouquets of different white and yellow florals. And so is this fragrance. It's heart, it's composed of classic florals like May Rose, Jasmine, Peony, Magnolia and Orange Blossom. So it's a white and pink floral. And these white and pink florals are all quite soft, light and fresh. They're certainly not carnal or indolic. The opening is very sparkling and fresh in a way, but it quickly turns into this voluptuous and sensual floral vanilla. The base is all about the sensual vanilla, some very light woody notes and a hint of warm amber. I absolutely love the opening, the base. I love everything about this fragrance, as you can tell, but I have to say, it wasn't quite what I expected. Based on the reviews I read, I thought this was going to be stronger on the peach and the vanilla. And I have to say that it's not. It's not a peach vanilla fragrance. You can certainly smell both notes, but they're only there to support the beautiful florals in the top and the heart notes. If this was a vanilla scent, it would smell more like Chopard, Casimir, or Coty Vanilla Fields, or some other vanilla heavy fragrance from the 90s, and it doesn't. To me, it smells more like a floral. It's the perfect blend of florals, fruits, citruses, powderiness, some woodiness, and some vanilla. It's so well blended and well balanced that it's really hard to pick out individual notes. It just smells like Chanel Allure and no other fragrance. Well, you can find some dupes, but you know what I mean. All its different elements make it interesting and complex. For me, that's a sign of a quality fragrance, for sure. This scent is timeless and instantly recognisable. As I said, it's voluptuous, it's sensual, it's very elegant. It has that indescribable magic that all Chanel fragrances have. It feels luxurious, elegant, 
and put together, it also feels quite mature. This is not a juvenile fragrance. This is something you want to wear when you're dressed smartly. You wouldn't want to wear this with tracksuits or trainers. Well, you can, you absolutely can, but I wouldn't. Maybe just a few words on the formulation. Those who remember the scent from the 90s will probably say it's been reformulated and watered down and I don't think they're wrong, I agree. But in my experience, the new formula is still timeless, classy, elegant and it performs very decently. I can't say that it's been ruined. I love how it smells on me. I love that it lasts 10 to 12 hours on me. And even though it feels like it's not going to be a strong fragrance when you spray it because it's so soft, it still projects and lasts. It's definitely not a weak fragrance. When I thought it was gone, I could start smelling it again. So it's definitely a good performer. My fragrance friend, Leah, who also bought this fragrance at the same time as me, she also says that it lasts very well. So I'm certain that the current formula is still worth buying. If you can find the current formula for a discounted price, well, even better, because Chanel fragrances are getting very expensive these days. If I were to compare this fragrance to other Chanel fragrances, I would say that it's very unique. The original Cocoa, for example, is much stronger, more pungent, it's spicier, it's a totally different fragrance. It also doesn't really compare to Coco Mademoiselle, which smells much younger in my opinion, but it's still classic and elegant. But Allure is the fragrance that defines the 90s. It smells like a 90s fragrance. Coco smells like an 80s fragrance. And Coco Mademoiselle kind of defined the fruity patchouli style in the 2000s. So the Coco Mademoiselle is more of a 2000s fragrance. Well, it came out in 2001. So Chanel Allure, even though it came out in 1999, well, the EDP, the original came out in 1996, it's still a 90s fragrance, in my opinion. So to recap, Chanel Allure EDP is a stunning 90s style floral that smells soft, comforting, yet very elegant, voluptuous and sophisticated. It's not for everyone, but if you enjoy 90s fragrances like Long Country Zor, Givenchy Organza, then check this one out. I realise I didn't really talk about the EDT version, but I think it's quite similar to the, e to the EDP, just slightly lighter. I went for the EDP. What about you? Do you like this fragrance? Do you own it? Would you like to try it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.